ultrasound and its applications. All the phenomena such as fire, rain, wind, earthquake and volcano produces unique sounds. For humans, hearing is limited to frequencies ranging between 20 Hz and 20 kHz. However, the upper limit generally decreases with age. Different species have a different range of hearing. For example, dogs can hear the sounds with frequencies up to 25 kHz. Sound with frequencies smaller than 20 Hz is known as infrasound or infrasonic wave. If we could hear infrasound, we would hear the vibrations of a pendulum just as we hear vibrations of the wings of a bee. Rhinoceroses communicate using infrasound of frequency as low as 5 Hz. Elephants also produce sound in the infrasound range. It is observed that some animals get disturbed before earthquakes. Do you know why? Earthquakes produce low-frequency infrasound waves before the main shock begins, which possibly alerts the animals. Sound frequency is higher than 20 kHz is known as ultrasound or ultrasonic wave. Ultrasound is produced by bats, dolphins, whales and porpoises. These animals use ultrasound waves to find their distance from an object using the mechanism of echoes. They emit ultrasound squeaks that bounce back as echoes from the surfaces in front of them. The time between a squeak and its echo can make them judge the distance of the obstacle or prey in front of them. They can also judge whether the thing is an obstacle or a prey, whether it is moving or stationary, its size, etc. In other words, they use ultrasound waves as their third eye. Some of the moths can also hear ultrasounds. These moths can hear the high-frequency squeaks of the bat and know if a bat is flying nearby and are able to escape the capture. Rats also produce ultrasounds. Ultrasound waves can travel quite freely in solids and liquids as compared to gases. Because of their high frequency, these waves also have some special properties that an audible sound does not have. Normally, ultrasound waves exist in solids, liquids and gases. There are two types of ultrasound waves, that is, longitudinal waves or transverse waves. Similar to the sound waves, ultrasound wave also carries energy with it. This energy is transferred to the medium through which the wave is passing. A region of compression and an adjacent region of rarefaction constitute one cycle of an ultrasound wave. An ultrasound wave cycle can be represented as a graph of change in the pressure or particle density of the medium versus distance in the direction of the ultrasound wave. From maximum height of the wave cycle, that is, the maximum value of the pressure or the density on either side of the normal value is the amplitude of the ultrasound wave. The distance covered by one cycle is the wavelength of the ultrasound wave. It is the distance between the centers of two consecutive compressions or two consecutive rarefactions. Wavelength is a useful parameter in ultrasound waves. In ultrasonic detection of a small object, the smallest size that can clearly be detected must be larger than half of the wavelength at the operating frequency. If the critical size of an object to be detected is known, such prior information on size is helpful for selecting an appropriate frequency for measurements. The number of cycles introduced into the medium each second is referred to 
as the frequency of the ultrasound wave. It tells us how frequently a wave is passing through a point. In other words, it is the number of the compressions or rarefactions that are crossing the given point in one second, expressed in units of hertz, kilohertz or megahertz. An ultrasound wave can be made very powerful due to its high frequency. The energy of a wave depends on several factors such as amplitude of the wave and its frequency. For example, when we shout at loudspeaker, we produce power of about 0.001 watt. However, if a source vibrates with the same amplitude as the sound we produce, but at 1000 kilohertz, then it would produce 1000 watts of power. The high power of ultrasound waves is used in industry and medicine to break and cut objects. Ultrasound waves are able to travel along well-defined straight paths even in the presence of an obstacle. This means that they do not bend at the edges of the obstacle. When a low-frequency sound wave strikes an obstacle, it easily bends round the corners and spreads in all directions. For example, if we keep a board between our face and Hello? source of the sound, we can still hear Hello? the sound. This is because the sound waves bend at the corners of the board and reach to our ears. Having high frequencies, this bending phenomenon is quite insignificant in ultrasound waves just like light. In this respect, ultrasound waves move along straight line. Thereby, ultrasound waves are used for imaging objects. The benefit over light is that ultrasound waves can travel through opaque materials also where light cannot travel. They can be transmitted over long distance without any appreciable loss of energy. The ultrasound wave is the product of the frequency and the wavelength. In general, the speed of the ultrasound wave is determined by the compressibility of the medium. A medium with high compressibility has low ultrasound speed and vice versa. Hence, the speed is relatively low in gases, intermediate in liquids such as blood and largest in solids such as bone. Because of its properties, ultrasound waves are used extensively in industries and for medical purposes. Metallic components are used in buildings and machines. If there are cracks or holes inside the metal used, the strength of the structure or the component is reduced significantly. Sometimes such defects are not visible from outside. Ultrasound waves can be used to detect flaws in metal blocks or sheets without damaging them. For example, ultrasound waves are passed through such metallic objects. If there is no crack or cavity in its path, it goes through the object and a detector placed on the other side detects the transmitted wave. Any defect present in the path of the wave reflects the wave and the region having defect does not transmit any wave. When this happens, we know that the object has a defect inside. We generally use a hammer and a steel punch to make holes in metal plates, plastic sheets or other solid materials. Such holes can also be made using a metallic rod called horn, through which ultrasound vibrations are produced. Similar to a hammer, it hammers the plate about a hundred thousand times per second. The shape of the hole is the same as that of the tip of the horn. Therefore, shape of the tip can be designed as per the requirement of the application.
ultrasound cutting and drilling are very effective for brittle materials such as glass for which ordinary methods of cutting might not succeed. Ultrasonic technology is also used to find the level of a liquid in a metal tank without opening it. Ultrasound waves are used for mixing immiscible liquids like water and oil into a homogeneous stable substance. This technique is also used for making photographic film. For cleaning small parts such as the ones used in watches, electronic components, odd shaped parts such as spiral tube and parts located in hard to reach places, normal methods of cleaning is inconvenient and sometimes impossible. Such objects are cleaned by using ultrasound vibrations. For this, such objects are placed in a cleaning solution and the ultrasound waves are allowed to pass through the solution. Due to these waves, high frequency vibrations are set in the solution that knocks off all the dirt and grease particles from the object. Ultrasound wave is a powerful tool for imaging human organs. Ultrasound has a very high penetrating power and it can penetrate the human body and its different tissues such as bones, muscles, fats, etc. Three-dimensional images of internal organs of the human body such as liver, gallbladder, uterus, kidney, etc. can be obtained by using ultrasound waves. Ultrasound scanner is an instrument that uses ultrasound waves for getting images of the organs. It helps a doctor to detect abnormalities such as stones in the gallbladder and kidney or tumours in different organs. In this technique, a source of ultrasound is placed above the organ which is to be investigated. The ultrasound produced by the source penetrates through the body and gets reflected from the organs. Ultrasound waves are sent from different angles and all the reflected waves are gathered by a receiver that converts them into electrical signals that are used to generate images of the organ. The length, breadth and depth of the different organs can also be measured. These images are displayed on a monitor. Even a photograph of the organ can be obtained. This technique is called ultrasonography. Ultrasonography is safer than X-ray imaging technique as the ultrasound waves do not damage the delicate tissues of the body. That is why ultrasound scans are used to monitor the development of the baby inside the mother's womb. Ultrasound is also used to break small stones that are formed in the kidneys into fine grains. And these grains are flushed out with the urine. This method has eliminated the necessity of surgery. The lens of the eye is made up of a clear gel surrounded by a transparent membrane called lens capsule. With old age, this gel may become cloudy and hard. Light passing through it becomes diffused, causing blurry vision. Ultrasound waves can cause molecules of materials to vibrate vigorously, thereby it is able to break certain materials into tiny pieces. When the ultrasound waves is passed through the hardened gel, it breaks the gel into tiny pieces. And a plastic lens is placed in capsule to restore the vision. This technique is commonly used for cataract removal. Ultrasound waves are used in the treatment of muscular pain because they produce a relaxing massage. It is also used for treatment of arthritis which occurs due to inflammation of joints. Ultrasound is also used to measure the depth of seas or oceans and to locate 
underwater objects like shoals of fish, submarines, shipwrecks, sea rocks and icebergs hidden in the sea. From the observation centre on the board of a ship, ultrasound waves of high frequencies are sent in all directions under the water. These waves travel in straight lines till they hit an object such as a submarine or the seabed. The reflected waves are received back at the observation center. The direction from which a reflected wave comes to the observation center tells the direction in which the object is located. By knowing the time between sending the ultrasound wave and receiving its echo, and the speed of sound in sea water, the distance of the object from the observation center can be measured. The longer the delay between the transmitted and reflected pulses, the deeper the object is. Reflections from various angles can be used to determine the shape and size of the object. This method of finding distances is also called echo ranging method. The device used in this method is called sonar that stands for sonographic navigation ranging.